The mysteries of Islam fascinate us time and time again. This is no different from the life story of the Prophet. Who was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? An illiterate desert merchant who one day stumbled upon amazing Arabic rhetoric? Or was he the creation of Allah's greatest light? Sent down to earth to pull man out of ignorance and bring them to the purest of truths? I, Ali Burji, am on a journey to discover the real story behind the Prophet, the real story behind our religion, the root, the beginning, the cradle of civilization. Assalamu alaikum, brother Ali, ahlan wa sahlan. Um, it's very nice to see you again. And um, you said that you had some questions and you wanted to discuss things. Yes, um, Prophet, please. Something. Firstly, thank you so much, uh, Doctor, for uh, sharing some time from your viable schedule. Um, I basically, as I told you over the phone, um, I wanted to acquire more knowledge with regards to our religion, our deen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has shown me the path and I have embraced the wilaya of Amir al Mu'mineen, but I feel that there is a big gap. With regards to the existence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and his holy progeny Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa I want to go into a journey with you inshallah and find out the reality of the existence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his importance in dunya, in akhira, before the creation of Bani Adam I want to find out how was the Holy Prophet created? When was he created? And from there on, inshallah, would like to go into the journey of his existence and up until where he proclaimed his prophethood in Mecca and explore the history with you, inshallah. So if you can please, um, maybe we could start all the way from the beginning, the creation of the Kaun, of the universe, of existence itself. Where was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? What's his part? His part in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and where did it start from? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salam ala muhammad wa alihi al-tayyibin al Allahumma salam. Um, this is a, you call it a journey. It's a huge journey. It's, it's a, the subject is very deep. It will uh, <coughs> contain various aspects of the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi in this world and before this world and after this world. So it's, it's um, um, I can't see how far we can go in, uh, in discussing this, uh, this topic. Um, is um, various aspects are involved. But inshallah we'll start, you mentioned that when and how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi was uh, uh, created. Uh, we have uh, numerous hadith in Al-Kafi and, and other sources <coughs> uh, that uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi of course in, in our books and also in uh, Sunni reference books uh, the, the Prophet is asked uh, about his uh, the creation of his, his, exist, his existence if you like uh, so there is a very um, well-known hadith when Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari uh, asks him um, what was uh, the first thing that Allah created and the Prophet uh, واله, answers Nuru Nabiyyika Ya Jabr Awwala ma khalaq Allah Nuru Nabiyyika Ya Jabr The first thing that Allah created was the Nur if you like the light of your Prophet O Jabr um, So that is the shortest if you like narration that we have hadith that we have and it's well known Awwala ma khalaq Allah Nuru Nabiyyika Ya Jabr and there are various numerous other hadiths um, in, um, in our uh, references uh, where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi is asked or Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam, Imam Ali alayhi salam uh, was asked about uh, uh, the creation of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi or Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi salam um, and various other Imams of course uh, I, I'll mention one or two if you like um, um, for example, Imam Sadiq salam says, or at least one of the Imams, Kan Allah is la kan. 
when there was only Allah and there was no other existence, um, there was no other being whatsoever. Of course, this this first piece takes us to the discussion of Tawheed, which of course we're not discussing at the moment. And, um, and another hadith, for example, Imam Ali alayhi salam, he begins with this. Kan Allah wala shay'a ma'a. Uh, when there was Allah and there was absolutely nothing else alongside. Um, so in here, in, in this hadith, كان الله كان, there was Allah and there was no other existence, there was no other being, and Allah created uh, from the light of His Majesty, from Nur, uh, from, uh, the term is used, Nur um, uh, the light of His gra greatness and His Majesty, Allah created uh, uh, the light of the Prophet When you mean the light of His Majesty, um, does that mean that the light originates from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as in it's part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or is it a light that He created which is specifically the nur of, um, for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa In fact, it's a good question. Um, other hadith, as I said, if, if we want to sort of discuss this in depth, um, we need to um, bring together all the various hadiths, which they, each one explains certain aspect of this whole concept, if you like. Um, yes, there are other hadiths where the Prophet ﷺ says that he created the light, which is uh, the light of all lights, okay? The lights which uh, illuminated uh, the heaven and earth, okay? It, which so, still illuminates? It still still illuminates, of course. Okay. Uh, the light which illuminates the heaven and earth, the light of the lights, Nur al-Anwar, um, uh, that is the term which has been used in various or numerous hadiths, um, and it is that light which Allah created, it is that light which is the, forms the foundation, if you like, the, the light of the Prophet And of course, in various other hadiths, in some hadiths where it mentions only the Prophet, there are other hadiths which mentions that from that light Allah created Muhammad and Ali, uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. And um, another narration uh, says from that light, Allah created Muhammad and Ali and Fatima alayhi salam. Um, so yes, it's Allah created that light. Um, and um, from that light, Allah created the Prophet, the nur, uh, the light of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Um, and it says, kunna anwaran, we were, uh, we were lights before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in, uh, in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you like. Bayna um, yaday is the term which, which is used. And, these, and of course, there are, I just wanted to say there are other hadith which says uh, Allah created the 14 individuals. And um, the narrator asks um, the Imam, I think it's Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam, the narrator asks, who are the 14 individuals? He says uh, Muhammad and Ali and Fatima and Hassan and Hussein and the Imams from Al Hussein alayhi salam until the Imam Al Mahdi. Ajalullah ta'ala Faraj al Sharif. Um, so, the, as I said, uh, I, I'm being very concise, very brief. Uh, there are new, we have numerous hadiths. If it would be good that if we could uh, have a, a session where I could present all the hadiths, but it will be a very in depth hadith, very specialized work. Uh, that you need to uh, bring together all the hadith and see uh, uh, the sort of aspects that they deal with. But at least in brief, this is the idea that Allah creates that light. Uh, Allah associates that light with His Majesty, His greatness. Okay. Any details with regards to the creation uh, uh, of the but, light? But it is not from His essence. Okay. okay. So that means uh, it's not part of Allah. It's not part of Allah. It's a creation. That's right. Okay. Um, in, in the same way, when we, for example, um, we say Baytullah, the, the Kaaba uh, is referred to as the house of house of Allah. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's part of Allah. And um, or there are sometimes people misunderstand, which I have seen. Um, uh, they say when when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala about the creation of uh, um, Adam or uh, says نَفَخْتُ فِيهِمْ الرُّوحِ and they think that oh this is part, this ruh uh, is part of Allah and therefore the, the, 
Adam or we are kind of, there, there is a sense of divinity which is absolutely false. Uh, there is no such thing. When he says, that ruh is Allah associates to, to him, with himself, to himself as part of uh, uh, um, giving it the, 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 the station and the, the, the status of this ruh, if you like. Just as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to uh, um, impress on the uh, status of this house, calls it Baytullah. So it's not part of, uh, just as this house is not part of Allah, that ruh also is not part of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay, part of the sense. essence. There is absolutely no association between all creation and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, the only, the only association is that Allah created them. Okay. They, there is no, because unfortunately there are... If there you is, associate something with Allah, you automatically limit him, is that why? Uh, no, that, that, is, that is part, if you like, a small part of it, but there is absolutely um, no resemblance, no association between any creation, whether it is the, the, um, uh, the, the master of our, our creations, if you like, which is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, Sayyid al-Khalq, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, or any other creation. There is absolute, they are all creation, there is absolutely no association or relation with the uh, essence of Allah, with the th that Allah which is expressed in, in, in Allah is something completely different. Uh, in fact, when Allah comes to describe, explain, uh, if you like, uh, His nature, basically says in the Quran, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ There is absolutely nothing like His example. Yes. Um, uh, so uh, anyway, this is to do with Tawheed. And of course, it's an extremely important thing. A lot of people get uh, have some um, misunderstanding in this respect when they read things like "Wanafaktu uh, al Ruhi," or at least they try to derive. They, uh, some of the people who have deviated, if you like, uh, from the teachings of the Quran and Ahl Bayt salam, they try to uh, use such verses. Uh, f for uh, for their ends, but anyway, that's not the issue that we're discussing uh, today. Okay. Uh, so it's yes, that uh, light uh, is a creation. It's not uh, uh, it's not part of the essence. It's not part of that Allah. Okay. It's not from from that Allah okay. Subhanahu wa Taala. So um, just correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'd like to rephrase just to make sure I've got everything correct. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala created the purest of pure lights. Mm -hmm. the first ever creation and from that pure light as you've mentioned it as the 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 light of of his majesty yes of his uh, of his uh, gl glory and from that light he created rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam now you mentioned the certain hadith mentioned that also the creation of ahlul bayt alayhi wasallam uh, was that together uh, would you believe that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam together with the, the 14 ma'asumin all together? Or maybe he created Ahlul Kisa, for example. Um, Sorry, who? Ahlul Kisa? Yes, m meaning um, I, meant, I meant the first five, for example. Uh, Rasulullah, Amirul Mu'mineen, Fatima al-Zahra, Hassan and Hussein mm -hmm. salam. And then he created the rest of the Ma'asumeen. Did, did the Ma'asumeen were created all at the same time together? I just need to uh, get a clarification because I'm, I'm quite doubt. I don't know um, the procedure of... Um, it, at least the hadith that I've come across, um, they don't specify whether it was together or whatever later um, and I think by the the impression that I get is yes um, they are together uh, because as I said uh, he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the light of the masumin um, and at least I haven't come across hadith which says that first created the Prophet and Ali salam and later on for example created Fatima Zahra and the okay. other Imams. I, at least if there is such a thing, I haven't come across okay. it. So my impression is that that sort of okay. they are together. At least if it's if it's not together in, in, in close proximity of in, in our term time wise. Um, so yes, that's that's the sort of the, the basic understanding that at least the gist of it is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created before he created anything, before mm -hmm. he created the skies or the earth, the planets and the galaxies 
or the Arsh, as mm. we say, the angels, uh, the Jannah and Nar, paradise and, um, and, and fire. Before he, Allah created any of these, when there was absolutely nothing, Allah created the light of the 14 Ma'asum once, once that was done, so once from non-existence, we, we've entered existence with the creation of the nur of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. What came afterwards? What was the procedure of c the completion of existence? Meaning, uh, did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create the malaika, the angels after? Mm. Uh, did he create dunya and akhirah and then the malaika? Uh, what, what occurred? Uh, we have in the hadith um, uh, from Ahlul Bayt alayhi <coughs> salam and also from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. When I say Ahlul Bayt, they are the 14 ma'asum. And uh, sometimes we have the hadith specifically from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from Amir al-Mu'mineen or the other Imam Alayhi um, Wasallam. That when Allah uh, created us, the hadith says, uh, we uh, worshipped for, we worshipped Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala um, for a um, very long time. It was a long time before um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the malaika, if you like. Um, we have expressions like year, which of course we don't know whether year this means the year of 365 days that we have in here. Um, and we have expression like dahr, alfa dahr. <clears throat> we were worshipping Allah for alfa dahr. Sometimes they say alfa alf dahr, a million dahr, a dahr, an era, a lifetime of a planet or a galaxy, uh, something like this. So if it, a dahr... Uh, so that means that could have been for hundreds of thousands of years. Or, or, or billions yeah. of years. SubhanAllah. Mm. So we need, we need, we, need we, we don't know what the dahr is, but basically we know dahr, lifetime of, a, as I said, uh, it's used for lifetime of a planet, lifetime of an individual, <coughs> if you like, uh, or lifetime of, uh, other beings. Mm. So, so we have years, even when it says like we were there for 70,000 years or 400,000 yeah. years or a million years, alpha, 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 am or sana. Um, when it says that we don't know that year, how long is that year? Um, whether it's, obviously it's not going to be the 365 days that we have in here, the, the solar year that we have in here. Um, depending on the rotation of the earth yeah. uh, around the sun. Um, so, but you could be pretty confident that it's, there were a very long time, as far as we're concerned, uh, they spent worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and it was the, after that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started creating other, um, other entities, other beings, whether Loh, Qalam, Arsh, Jannah, Nar, um, and the malaika, the angels, mm. and if you like the galaxies, yes. uh, they um, expressed as uh, suns and moons and planets. Um, so that came much after um, uh, the creation of original creation uh, of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, creating the first thing which He created, which is the nur of the mm -hmm. fourteen masum. And the nur. Um, so I just wanted to go into detail with regards to. For example, the creation of the angels. Uh, I know that um, the angels were as well created from Noor. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, Bani Adam, the human beings were created from clay, mm -hmm. Turab. Mm -hmm. And uh, the jinn, for example, were created from fire. Mm -hmm. Now, that Noor that um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the angels, was that different from the Noor of uh, Rasulullah yes. sallallahu Yes, in fact, okay. we is have... Is a difference in, in the existence of those nur? Is it definitely. a different kind of nur? Definitely. We have expressly said that min anwar and shatta, from various other nurs, but certainly, if you like, the, uh, the, the caliber, or I don't know what term to use, the nur of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi and his Ahlul Bayt is different from the nur of the Malaika. Okay, um, so now, now we've, we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's created Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at least as a nur stage and we have the creation of the malaika 
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created Akhira and dunya and was Jahannam created as well back then from the beginning? Jahannam, hell, as we know it, the fire. Yeah. So were they created that then, back then? Again, I, have, I, I haven't come across as, as to at what stage exactly uh, uh, Jahannam, if you like, was, okay. was created. But it certainly was created sometime later on after uh, the creation of, if you like, the Arsh, the Loh, Qalam, mm. uh, uh, the Malaika and so on, mm. the angels. Uh, it's probably afterwards, but I haven't come across that as to precisely when it was. Is it true, is it true that um, um, Adam alayhi salam, Bani Adam, or let's say Adam, because he's the origin, was he created after the jinn? Were we yeah. the last, as far from what we know from the creations revealed to us by our holy prophets and the Holy Quran, we were the last to be created, mm -hmm. meaning uh, Malaika, Jinn, and then us. Mm -hmm. So before us in the heavens, with regards to a knowledge of existence, the knowledge of reality and understanding the, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, was that something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instilled in the creation of, for example, the angels? Or was something the angels had to go through um, discovering uh, to acquire knowledge? Was the knowledge instilled inside them? So they were created and automatically they knew uh, the position of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the power, his might, were they aware of their existence? Or did they have to go through the procedure of learning themselves? Like similar to human beings when we are born into dunya, where we have no... A memory of what happened before. Is that how it happened? How was it? How did it work basically? Um, in the case of Malaika, um, we have some, um, at least I've come across some hadith which uh, uh, explain, give us some idea as to um, the, the, their knowledge and their understanding. Certainly, um, in, the, in terms of learning, we have various hadiths that when Allah created the Malaika, the angels, we, um, the, they learned from, we have various hadiths that, that the Prophet and the Ma'sumin alayhim salam, uh, Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam, they taught the Malaika about worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, specifically, we have that and um, we have a hadith from uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa or from Ahlul Bayt is that when uh, the Malaika saw us after the creation of Malaika, in order, even though they knew that there is Allah and we are created by Allah, but in order to make sure that they don't get any misunderstanding that we have any association, or at least to prove that we don't have uh, 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 in us any sense of deity, if you like, uh, we worshipped Allah, glorified Allah, and tahleel uh, takbir, saying Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah, subhanallah, walhamdulillah. Um, not specifically in the same order, but um, in order to make it clear to the malaika that these lights are a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are not uh, deity. They don't have the essence of deity in them. Uh, we have this hadith that they taught the malaika, they made sure that the malaika uh, understand uh, that they are not deity, they, are not, they don't have any uh, essence of deity in them, divineness in them. And then um, they uh, wanted to teach them uh, the, the acts of worship, if you like. So specifically, we do have such hadith. Um, so they were, they were created for the sole purpose of also guiding the rest of creation, not just the yeah, human beings. Not, yes, definitely. Um, um, <sighs> this is opening other avenues now. Um, yes, not only they, they guided the malaika, the angels, <clears throat> But um, I don't know how much time we have, but um, we have various hadiths that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created thousands of other worlds 
world like ours. <clears throat> really? And um, we have even hadith which says elf elf, which is uh, a million. Um, so, and also for each of those words, there is elf elf Adam. <clears throat> and, um, and the Imam says, for example, there is a hadith from Imam Hassan al Mushtaba alayhi salam. It says, I am Allah's authority upon all of them. All the million world and million Adam. Million Adam means <coughs> that just as we had one Adam here and from him we have like billions now and over a course of 10, 20,000 years or whatever um, between us and Adam, I don't know. <coughs> just as we have this, if you like, uh, chain of generations from Adam until now and until whenever, um, we've had things like this, worlds like this and Adams like this and the descendants of their respected Adam for in various other worlds, at least a million other worlds uh, before us and we are the last. The Prophet said when Allah created Adam, Allah placed my nur in the loin of Adam alayhi salam and that nur was transferred from uh, um, one prophet to another if you like. The ancestors of uh, the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, they were all, all Muslims and there was some other statement made which indicates that they were all either prophets or yani, nabi or wasi, a prophet or an appointed uh, um, successor to a prophet.